and how's the preparations uh, for your team this season? Uh, basically, from the start, we were under the assumption that there would be a cup and a league this year. So earlier this year, we had the Copa Paulinho Alcantara. Uh, we were fortunate enough to win that. And basically, we were just waiting for the confirmation of when the league would start. Uh, so after the cup, we also had the AFC Champions League earlier this year. And once both the cup and the Champions League finished for us, it was, I think, Kurt could tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it was about a month to six weeks before the league started for us. So we had a, a little couple week break after the cup. And then we basically had a month of preparation for the league because behind the scenes, they basically let us know when the league would start. And so we, we had an idea and we, we knew how long we had to prepare for the league. Can we, can we just talk about uh, the, the, the silence of the PFL since 2020? Uh, what have you guys been up to since obviously the pandemic affected the league, the way it affected all other leagues? Um, what were you guys... Uh, I know that you also won the Copa Paulino Alcantara just a few months ago. Um, but before all that, before football started up again for you guys, what were you doing in the, uh, in those years? Uh, Kenny? Um, as soon as the pandemic arrived in 2020, obviously we were in lockdown, right? So I was with my previous club, Kaya, and we would basically, we would just have Zoom workouts. Uh, we would have Zoom workouts six days a week just to keep some kind of conditioning and cardio. And as soon as, uh, as soon as, the lockdowns eased up a little bit. We would just go running around the city in little groups. But other than that, yeah, just we would just do anything personal just to try and keep any type of conditioning and fitness that, that we could. Um, it was tough. Um, I think in the beginning, it was just home workouts, uh, groceries, and <laughs> war zone, to be honest. And then just like catching up with family and everything. But that pretty pretty much summed it up. It was, wasn't much to to do because obviously we had the that time as well where um, couldn't go out. Like my building was pretty strict about people coming in and out. So yeah, we're just living in the gym, doing groceries after, and jumping <laughs> on water and talking to family. Pretty much it. So, I mean, I was there last year when we had like a lot of players like um, the Nazaris and obviously we had Shockey and and everyone. So it was considered a, a stacked team. Jumping off from that, Kenny, how's the team chemistry when you have a mixture of talent uh, in your in your club? Oh, the team chemistry, I mean, for me, I think the team chemistry is great. Uh, we all get along. The team isn't too clicky because sometimes you can get into clubs or teams where everyone's in their own clique, you know, some people just hang out with their friends and it's just really separated and the chemistry is not great. But I think with our team, I think anyone can hang out at any time and we all get along, especially, you know, we spent so long in Thailand together. We were together every day for almost a month. No problems. Everyone can joke around. And, you know, our chemistry, I think, is, is in a good place. Uh, if I may, Cheska, do a follow-up. Mm -hmm. So does that explain, in a way, the demolition uh, in your first match? <laughs> did, did, did the chemistry somehow appear and was evident Kenny in, in your first match and how was that like yeah um, obviously if your chemistry is good you're going to play well together and we did the other day you know we've had we've had quite a long break since our last game but we've gone through like I said the Copa and the Champions League all together you know not, not too many players have left since not too many players have joined mm -hmm. so we have that that chemistry from the core group of players already. And you can feel it. Last, you can feel it in the last game, you know, nothing much has changed. It's like business as usual for us. Trying to recover when you guys do have free time, because even your matches, the venues still will be changing all throughout the season. Uh, most, I believe most of the games will be played at Rizal Memorial, but you have your venues in Carmona, in Imos, in Binyan, Clark, uh, Iloilo, Talisay, it's it's all over. So when you, but I mean, let's be real. When you know that you're going to be traveling also for work, especially after being cooped up for the past two years, I mean, when you, like, does it does it excite you more or is it more of, I'm going to be so exhausted 
or I don't know. How do you guys how do you guys handle the the travel, uh, Kenny? Um, well, we're I don't even think we're a hundred percent sure how we're going to be traveling to these areas yet. But I know one thing that we look forward to is the stadium in Clark, the stadium in Iloilo. They're played on natural grass, which we all look forward to. Okay. Uh, most of our games here are played on artificial turf, which is nowhere near as good for your body. And also, I don't know, the, the game is just different on artificial than it is compared to real grass. So I know when it is in Iloilo and Clark, we do look forward to playing on the grass pitches. Uh, but when we do play the games in more uh, province areas, like we're going to play games in Cebu, the games in Iloilo, we do get lots of fans coming up to those games, and that really pushes us forward. Uh, we, you know, we don't get the most when we play in Metro Manila, but when we do go out to the different areas, we, you know, we'll get a couple thousand people there sometimes, and it really pushes us to play. And it, you know, that's what we get excited for. We like playing in front of the fans.